Bohr's atomic model was the first step in understanding how the atom is built and it gave insight into the nature of the line spectra emitted by gases. At the time, the riddle of atomic structure seemed to be solved. Boer was successful in introducing the idea of quantum energy and in explaining the lines of the hydrogen spectrum. However, his theory could not be extended to predict the energy levels and spectra of atoms and ions with more than one electron. The model applied accurately only to one electron systems the hydrogen atom and ions such as helium-1 plus and lithium-2 plus. Modern quantum mechanics retain Bohr's concept of discrete energy states and energy involved during the transition of electrons but totally reject the circular orbits he introduced. Brigley proposed that small particles of matter, such as electron, has a dual nature and possesses both wave and corpuscular or particle properties. We can associate wave to any moving particles. If electron have wave-like motion and restricted to orbit at fixed radii, therefore, the electron have only certain possible frequencies and energies. Particles of light, called photons, have an energy E proportional to the frequency of the light wave, expressed by the following equation, where H is the proportionality constant known as Planck's constant, and is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34 joules times seconds. Because light frequency is related to its wavelength by this equation, we have, on the other hand, the energy of a particle of effective mass m, moving with the speed of light c, is given by Einstein's famous equation. Equating these two gives, and this equation relates the wavelength to the effective mass of photon. According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, it is impossible to know, simultaneously, both the momentum, p, that defined as mass times velocity, and the position of a particle with certainty. Heisenberg stated mathematically, where, delta x, is equal to, uncertainty in measuring the position. Delta P is equal to uncertainty in measuring the momentum, and H is equal to Planck constant. <laughs> 